It's been 10 years since the opening of Artar, a multidisciplinary art center here in Istanbul. And to tell us about the anniversary, uh, Artar's Ilkay Balic is here with me. Hi, Ilkay. So, Hi, Elif. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Good to see you. So, um, you've been working there since the, 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 the start, right? Yeah, exactly. Since 2009. So, okay, let's just go back to 10 years uh, ago now. And why, why do you tell, tell us why Artar was founded? What kind of an atmosphere was it? Mm. Actually, Artar, the foundation of Artar is part of a strategic plan uh, devised by the Vefikoc Foundation uh, and led by our founding director, Meri Ferevi, back in 2005. Um, and the plan had uh, as uh, its ultimate goal the foundation of a sustainable arts institution mm -hmm. uh, dedicated to different contemporary arts disciplines in Istanbul. So our town was uh, founded as a space for art on Istiklal Street in 2010 with the ultimate goal of becoming, um, moving into its new premises, its new venue, uh, and become a multidisciplinary art center Mm -hmm. and house uh, a contemporary art collection. Which it did. So uh, artistic production which m was much different 10 years ago. So I wonder how, how you sort of adapted to it. I mean, it's, it, the last decade wasn't that uh, you know, easy, I think, for, for the art world, was it? Yeah, actually, um, the, uh, at the core of Artar's mission, lies uh, supporting uh, new productions by artists within the framework of its uh, program. So um, throughout these 10 years, we were able to work very closely with different artists, international and local, uh, for the production of new artworks and display those works within the framework of our exhibitions, as well as acquiring some of them for our collection. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we did was to um, support the production and also gather the memory of artistic production in Turkey and we keep doing so. So um, yeah, it's very it's not um, very easy for me to comment on the overall uh, development of the arts in Turkey, but uh, I can say that we uh, have we, we uh, feel a much fulfillment in uh, mm -hmm. the support of uh, new productions. Okay, so I'm just assuming that you face a lot of difficulties along the way. Uh, I mean, it's just not always roses around you. So I just wonder uh, if you can talk us through those uh, challenges. I mean, what difficulties you faced? Yeah, I know. Um, we were founded on uh, Istika Street and we were an admission-free art space and it was always difficult to define what we are. We were always like, are you a gallery or are you a museum? No, we're not uh, either. Uh, and um, it, it was uh, hard for us to define ourselves in the eyes of the public, as well as, uh, you know, uh, while we were on Istiklal Street, Istanbul went through such transformation and we went through many political and other conflicts mm. and crises um, in uh, meanwhile. Uh, but, uh, and also, you know, we also worked hard to um, move to our new building and it was a thorough, really, mm. planning period for us, uh, realizing uh, the program on Istiklal Street as well as working for the new museum was a big challenge for us. But now we really feel like it was all worth it. And do you think it was also the peak moment? I mean, it was a tough moment for sure, but... Yeah, you know, the top moment is obviously the opening of our new building in Dolapter last year in September uh, 2019. Uh, as we have become the, um, the art center that will serve the artists and our public alike with uh, more uh, stronger connections and a stronger dialogue with the city and also our users and visitors. Mm -hmm. And Ilkay, I mean, it might not be easy for you to answer this, but then where do you see Artar in another 10 years' time? Yeah, in another 10 years' time, uh, I see Artar producing more interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary projects and um, creating, engaging in more uh, dialogue with different disciplines and using its two performance halls in full capacity. So... Um, collaborating with international institutions to create, to develop uh, new content, new exhibitions, 
as well as, of course, expanding its collection and programs to be more relevant and to serve mm. the, the public um, in a more um, intense way. And all these lovely plans and dreams, how do you think they will be interrupted by the coronavirus pandemic? And uh, I wonder if, you, if, if Artar feels ready to tackle it. Yeah, you know, um, all sorts of crises are moments of reflection uh, as well. Uh, so um, we have been working um, on how to uh, develop new formats to interact with our uh, visitors and followers uh, online. Uh, so it has been a really interesting period for us to keep everyone safe and also uh, meditate on uh, how to develop uh, new ways of interacting with each other, uh, developing new ways of working and collaborating with each other and our artists, curators, uh, all collaborators alike. So um, I think um, this moment is a very important one for all institutions. And as uh, I will repeat here the uh, motto of the coach holding, uh, we will get better. Uh, so I believe that we will become uh, better individuals, better in, uh, institutions uh, in the uh, coming years after following this huge historical moment. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, whenever it ends, and hopefully it ends as soon as possible. It was good to have you on our show today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.